thanks for uh, showing up tonight. It's uh, going to be kind of a fun one. Uh, based on some of the feedback I got from last episode, uh, some people wanted to know more about technique of palette knifing, and one request was also for sexy naked men. So I happen to have one right here, ready to go. Uh, but it's not a finished piece. It's been a work in progress for a bit that I haven't quite uh, finished up. But I'm going to be adding some gold leaf to uh, to this to kind of accent what the rain would look like on this particular piece. So this episode is called Palette Knives and Gold Leaf. So one thing about gold leaf is you need an adhesive on in place for it. And so I have the Metal Leaf Speedball product with the very beautiful Mona Lisa on there. It's, it's uh, high grade for what it is. And what I'm gonna use for this is a very tiny palette knife to place where I want this to be. The tricky part about the glue is it needs to be tacky for about 45 minutes before it actually will adhere to the, uh, the gold leaf itself because it's quite delicate. So I'm gonna put the, uh, put the glue on where I want the gold leaf to live eventually and then let, set that aside then we'll tackle a few other projects. I want to uh, put it on in chunks and dribbles. One thing about using the palette knife which is kind of good is it'll allow me to get fine and sharp lines. Again as you can see here I made a bit of a dribble and a mess but the great thing is I'm dealing with water so I like to call these happy mistakes, so it'd be just fine. I'm not too worried about it. this aside for a little bit just to get that tackiness going as I mentioned earlier and uh, also get some of this glue off my hand. So as I mentioned before I need to give this about 45 minutes or so to to get to the right tackiness to to uh, make sure the gold leaf will adhere as, as best. So, as I mentioned, been working on this one for a little bit. I'm gonna add some gold leaf here in a little few minutes, half an hour or so, kind of see how the tackiness comes, and then uh, we'll apply that, and then it'll really pop and come to life. Um. So I'm gonna come back to the guy with no name who's out in the rain and uh, gonna put on the gold leaf and apply that to the stickiness and then brush that out. But I'm just gonna put on some uh, gloves because the gold leaf is kind of sensitive about the oils in the, in our skin. So it uh, can actually tarnish them if you put it on with your fingers. So. Um, ideally I like to keep a pretty, uh, pretty clean leafing when I do it. <laughs> you flopped the other night? Oh, keep at it. Do you have a variety of um, palette knives carry or or just one? Or I would suggest uh, kind of playing around with different uh, sizes because I find everyone that I, I know who uh, likes to work with them kind of has a, a different favorite than, than I do at least. So it kind of just depends on what you're, what you're able to accomplish with what you are trying to do. Here, and it's like light 
insert that in a feather. I actually see it kind of floating when I move it. So I'm gonna start sticking this on to where I had the glue. And I'm gonna move it around so it starts catching where I put it. it all and making sure I can kind of get that adhesive taken on. Hey Sam. That was no good. <laughs> Who put that mic there? I want to make sure as I mentioned before too similar to the last piece making sure there's lots on the ground because that's where the rain will end up for, for sure. So for this particular one, I was kind of hoping for a bit more of the raindrops to show up. Um, I do know what the issue is. I didn't have enough uh, glue or adhesive actually on the palette knife when I was putting it on. So it, it kind of lost a bit, but you can kind of see here, I got some of the effect I wanted. Um, what I'm gonna do next is actually take like a big brush and just kind of knock off the extra and, and go from there. You can kind of see it pulls off anything that's not really adhering to the piece. Actually covered now in gold dust because he's been trying to eat it. I'm gonna get that up. Good. So what I'll do with the next instance, once this is completely dried, I do another uh, layer of the adhesive and do a few more sheets of the gold leaf. I'm not sure if you can even really see it that well from where you are. I'll bring it closer to the camera. See it quite well here. I'm kind of shimming it around so you can kind of get some of the light. Yeah, that's how you gold leaf. 